my door. A happier man I'll be if I find she cares for me. And then I will be happy evermore. Hello, pal. How's the old boy, huh? I'm sure glad to see you. Hey, listen, why don't you take a look at this? Look at this. No, I don't want you to bite it. Don't you go fretting about me being in this mining business. When we get all this stuff we want, you know what we're going to do, huh? We're going to buy us a cow outfit and go back to cow punching. How wouldn't you like that, huh? That's just what I thought. Now look at you. I told you to go get all spruced up and now you done that. You think that's right, huh? Well, I don't either. Tennessee's sister's coming in tonight, you know. That's why I knocked off early. I'm sure feeling good. Well, we got to go to the house, kid. Go on. Get on the wagon, that old band wagon. Get on the wagon, and we'll all take ride. Get on the wagon, that old band wagon. Get on that wagon, and we'll all take ride. Hey, listen, I know what you want. Well, I'll give it to you. I know what you want on it, huh? Uh-oh. Listen. You don't get that picture. I think I know every line in her pretty face by heart. Hey, take a look at it. I have to picture your new boss. At least why she will be when she gets in tonight. And you know when that old stagecoach pulls in tonight, me and you in Tennessee and the old buckboard, we're gonna be right there to meet her with our hats in our hands. Hoping she'll like us. Maybe, or maybe we'll step up to her, you know, and take off our hat and say, how do you do, Miss Alice? Yeah, that's kind of pretty, but you ought to kneel. You ought to kneel when you say that. Now, you're cute when I take off my hat to kneel. How do you do? Kneel. That's it. How do you do, Miss Alice? Hold it down and that's it. Be like that. Then maybe she would really well like it, see? Now, you run along. I got to get all spruced up. Go on. Hey, Tennessee. See? Tennessee, what do you say? Gentlemen, gentlemen, don't be rushing me. I'm obliged to speculate on the possibilities of this year, and This is my humble opinion. You might call that a medium, fair, high-grade hand. Back home in Nashville, I'd bet bale of cotton on a hand like that. Without year, I value it at five ounces of gold dust. It's all in there. I'm just seeing that five-ounce hand. Mine is what you might call a six-ounce hand. Six-ounce? It's <laughs> good. That's too bad, Tennessee. Oh, sorry. Your, your expression of sympathy does your prize here, but for your information, I can afford to bet five ounces of gold. I can afford to lose Fifty ounces or five hundred ounces of gold. What's that, Tennessee? Is the Alice mine panning out better than you expected? <laughs> Three thousand dollars in the last seven days. Gentlemen, you are playing cards with the half owner of the, what you call it, Bonzana? Bonanza's the word. Yeah, Bonzana. Sorry, Fox. Uh, excuse me, Tennessee. Oh, uh, Queenie. Uh, bring us a new day, please. Yes, Miss Freddie. We want to deal your friend uh, Good Anne for a change.
20 ounces more. What, another raise? Say, Tennessee, in your expert opinion, just how much is your hand worth? My hands, sir, I'd stake everything I own in the world on this year here. And I'll give you a chance to play your hand for its full value. I'm calling you, bet. And I'm raising you for everything I've got in the world. This year tavern. Why, Ace, you mean you're betting me the whole saloon? Stock, goodwill, and fixtures against your half of the Alice Mine. Hmm. <laughs> You're talking mighty loud for a man who only drew two cards. Don't you know you can't run him out of this pot, Ace? Don't you know you can't bluff a man from Tennessee? I can't, eh? Well, I seem to be doing it. No, sir, I'm... I'm only hesitating from taking advantage of a friend. Then the bet's on? The bet's on. I'll write out a bill of sale for my tavern. And you write out one for your half in the Alice Mine. Winner, take both. You write them out and I'll sign them. Uh, Queenie, uh, give me ink and paper. You're gonna regret this, Ace. You're gonna regret it. And after I win this saloon, I'll have to engage you as manager. Because I don't know anything about running a saloon. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you'd better learn because... I'll have to have you run it for me after I win your mind. Now there's my bill of sale. Now you just sign yours right there, mine, Tennessee. Here. Howdy, Dad. I'll be with you as soon as I finish this game. There ain't gonna be any more game, kid. What do you got here? Queen high flush, huh? Well, then I reckon you might have a royal flush over here. Right? That ought to prove it to you, Tennessee. I've been telling you, Ace Brady runs a crooked game. Good way to commit suicide, partner. Let him bella, Box. We don't want to have any trouble in here. Oh, we don't want any trouble here, Dan. This is my business, and I'm playing on, in my Dad. honor. You gotta get out of here and sober up. You gotta meet your sister. Now, come I on. I know I meet my sister. I'm come gonna on, play on. this in my... Come on, come on. And the game's over. Keep the money in your pocket, kid. Now, come on. What are you to do? Now, listen. Tennis. This is my business, I tell you. Leave me alone. Dan, on, what's the matter? Can I take come a on, drink kid. or anything? Don't let me rassle you all over the place. You're making a lot of trouble here in the street. Fox, drop that. I guess the game's over, Jim. All right, Abe. Good night, Tennessee. I'll see you all tomorrow. Come on. A couple of fine, brave men. What'd you let him get away with that gold for? You won it. Ah, that'll do, Box. He'll sure take care of them, all right, fellas. Yeah. I can't figure how you knew them hands. I can figure them out all right, don't worry. Them two fellas are gonna pay for this evening anyhow. About 3,000. What do you mean? You heard them say they washed out that much last week. I suppose you could find it before they get back to the cabin. I reckon I can. Poor heart. What's the matter, Queenie? Scared? Of what? I've seen plenty of shootings, but this is the first time we almost owned a gold mine. Well, don't you worry. We haven't lost it yet. Hey, buddy. Sit 
stagecoach is coming in. Well, they're an hour ahead of time. Wonder how that happened. Must have a new driver. Let's go see. Say, he must have had them horses dynamite. I'll let the Stopping at my tavern, miss. Oh, no, thank you. I'm waiting for my brother. Oh, you are my friend, George Malden's sister? Yes. He's told me a great deal about you. I, uh... uh I'm Ace Bridget. Oh. Uh, won't you come inside, miss? Oh, no, thank you. He won't keep me waiting long. I'm not so sure about that. He's not exactly feeling himself this evening. Well, what do you mean? Well, the truth is, he's feeling his drinks a little. Oh, Jim, uh, bring up my team. I uh, couldn't think of allowing a stranger to drive you out, Miss Malden. Uh, these are your things, I presume? Yes. You're most obliging, Mr. Brady. Why, it's a pleasure. Uh, uh, right this way, Miss Malden. Are you uh, comfortable, Miss Morland? Yes, thank you. Get up, Blackie. Come on, get out of here. I, I know you are. I want to put you in bed now. Bed. You feel any better? Come on, boy, get out of here. Come on, come on, baby. Come on. Come on, come on, old fella. Come on. Now take it easy. Come on, boy. I'm all right. It's all right. I know it. There you are. I'll be alone. Let me alone. Land cars is my own business. I got a baby. Take it easy. What are you fighting? Half the mine is my own and my stupid money. Come here. Come here. What? Put your head in there. Put your head in there. Tennessee. You think I'm a baby? I'll show you. Tennessee. Wait a minute here. I'll sober you up if I have to kill you. Come on. Fight you. Come on. I'll fight you. Hey, well, come on, boy. Come on. I don't want to have to fight you, old oh, boy. What are you doing? Leave it. That's it. Out here. What? He's down here. What's there the now. matter, Dad? Yeah, yeah. What are you do this for? I've got to... I want you to go to sleep and get oh, some rest. I've, Come on. I've got to meet my sister. Now, I know you've got to meet her, and you're in no condition to meet her, kid. What? I'm going to meet her. I'll take care of her. You? you? Sure, I will. If you're in no condition, I'll go to sleep. Will you go to sleep? Will you meet her? Sure, I'll meet her. You take care of her? You bet your life I'll take care of her. Can All right, now? Promise me? Yeah, I promise. Dan. Yeah. You're not mad at me. Mad at you? Yes. No, of course I'm not mad at you. I'll go to sleep. Because if you're mad at me, I'll fight you. Sure, I know you'd fight me. Now you go to sleep. You all right? right? Huh? I'm all right. Okay. You meet her, and I'll be all right when you come back. Sure you're all right. 
I wouldn't blame your brother too much, Miss Malden. It's just that Dan Barton's been poisoning his mind against his good friends like me. Well, I'm glad you warned me, Mr. Brady. Of course, I have nothing but suspicions to go on. Dan Barton's been giving your brother liquor. He works the mine, makes the cleanup, and divides the dust. Of course, I'm not saying that he's cheating Tennessee, but at the same time, I'm not saying that he's on the square with them. So, uh, what, what sort of character is Barton? Pretty bad, miss. I wouldn't have you tell him that I said anything. Oh, he shan't know it. But it seems strange, because George has always written such wonderful things about it. Well, maybe there were certain circumstances that forced him to. That sounded like a shot, miss. Get up, baby. Tennessee. 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 What happened? What happened, boy? condition to see you right now. Why not? This brother, you wouldn't see him now. Oh, well, I must see him. You can't. Please I must. Don't. George. George. Ah! Mr. Brady. Something terrible has happened. Genesee. Oh, George. Genesee. What's the matter? George. Genesee. Oh, Mr. Brady. What do we do? George. George. What about Barton? Oh, Watch your hand, Mr. Barton. What's the matter with you? Oh. A hot gun. Oh. So that's the shot we heard fired. Miss Malden. Oh. Miss Malden. We don't have to look any further. We've got the man that killed your brother. Well, you're crazy, Brady. The man fired that shot's getting away right now. No, no, he isn't. You had a fight with him in my saloon. You came here to the cabin and you killed him. Why, you're talking like a crazy man to you. You're foolish. Put up your guns. What's the matter with you? Oh, Miss Marlin, I don't believe that. I saw the man run from the cabin. He run by the corral. I just fired a shot at him. He's getting away now. No, oh, no, he's losing he a lot of valuable time, I tell Put you. Put your hands behind you, Barton. Put them behind you. Miss Morgan, you don't think I would do a thing like that, do you? Why, Tennessee was my pal. Why, I loved him like a brother. I... Look! The dust! When the man fired that shot was robbing him. Why, we've known that for months. Just as I told you, Miss Morgan. The man that's killed your brother has been robbing him. What do you mean, Brady? I mean you. Why, you... Take it easy there, Barton. Take it easy. Oh, Mom. <laughs> But please don't believe him. Don't trust him, please. Don't get near me. I'm awfully sorry, miss. Send somebody out from town to take care of you. Come on, Barton, get started. And don't try any of your tricks. Hmm. 
get up in a good one. Pretty cheerful, ain't you? Mm-hmm. That ain't my cheerful tune, Brady. Rope too tight? Cut my wrist a little. Too bad. You got it in for me, haven't you, Brady? I'm going to have the satisfaction of seeing you swing on a tighter rope. Unless a miracle happens before you get to town. Miracles do happen. Keep it, Brady. I'll sing you my cheerful song later when I meet you again. Keep going. Keep going. There, there, dear. Be brave. Tennessee, I don't figure this dissolves our partnership. None whatever. I'm going to get the man that did it. And just like you asked me, I'm going to take care of your sister, too. Howdy, Slim. I'm glad you're here. Uh, Miss Walden, these are some of the boys that I had deputized to bring in Dan Baldwin. Now, you boys keep a close watch between here and the mine, because I'm sure that Dan Barton is coming back. Seems likely. Now, Miss Walden, he can't get out of the country without stopping late. You've been awfully kind, and I feel much safer now. And thank you for calling. Oh, you're quite welcome. Goodbye. Goodbye. Say, I'm tired of this sympathy business. Why didn't you give her the rush act? She'd have turned over the mine today. Well, what's the difference? She said she'd sign it tomorrow, didn't she? No boy. It looks like it's about time for us to take a hand in this game. Huh?
Hey, look! He gave us a slip, all right. He ain't on that horse. Let's go back to the cabin. Don't be frightened, miss. It's only me. I'm awful sorry to break in on you like this, but I just had to warn you about Ace Brady. Well, this Brady and his men trying to pull a wool over your eyes. They're trying to rob you just like they did Tennessee. They're scheming to get your part of the mine now. But how do you know? I hid alongside the road, and I heard the Ace and this Queenie woman talking as they drove by. Anything else you want to say to me? You don't believe a word I've been saying, do you? Well, if you don't mind, I'll have a look around the cabin and see if I can find any evidence. You know you didn't give me much of a chance that night. The man that shot my brother didn't give him much of a chance. Yes, I know. been a man missing from town ever since. A fellow by the name of Fox. He was in the room when I went to get Tennessee. And I took the gold and I gave it to Tim. Remember me telling you about the gold, the dust? It was robbery. A fox. That's what it was. Come here to get the gold. We had it right in here. Took it all. So that's why you came back. Do you really think I killed Tennessee? Down deep in your heart, do you, do you really think it? Then don't worry about me. I'll go. If hanging me is going to make you any happier, I'm for it. It don't make any difference now, Mom. Well, up until about a month ago, the only thing that mattered to me was just getting enough money to buy a cow outfit and go back to California. My horse, Taurus, and my friendship for your brother, Tennessee. And then, then he got to read me your letters, describing you to me, telling me all about you. And you just finally come to mean more than anything else in the world to me. And then when your picture come, I stole it for myself. I carried it around with me. I got so I knew every line in your pretty face by heart. I knew the color of your hair, your eyes, your pretty smile. just naturally fell in love with you. I love you, Miss Evans. I love you. You... You tricked me! Drop! It's in the cabin, boys! Let's go! Anything wrong, Mom? Are you in trouble? I'm I, I just thought I heard something and thought I'd fire a shot and see if you were there. That's a good idea. Anytime you want us, just shoot a cartridge.
Yes, I can. Well, who done this? Henry, you and Buck saddle up and get after him. We're oh, gone. Yeah, yeah. Bud, you and I come on back to the cabin, the girl. Come on. Who is it? It's us, Mr. Sutherland. Can we speak to you? He was here all right, but we scared him away. From now on, me and Bud's gonna ride loose herd on this place. Oh, thank you, boy. But it won't be necessary after tomorrow. Because, well, I'm going home. Good night. Good night. $1,000. What a time some pollute's gonna have on that. Make me thirsty to think of that. Say, fellas, let's go over to H. Brady and have a drink. What do you say? Okay. Sure. Well, I don't have a shingle off yet. How are you? Fine, Joe. How are you? All right. You're looking good. Well, what have you been doing? Getting respectable for the Malden girl. You? Oh, you should have seen me being the grand lady. You would have died. As for Ace, you would have thought he was anchor the way he took that gold mine from her. What? Do you mean Ace has the Malden girl's share of the mine? by power of attorney to manage it for all signed, sealed, and delivered. Foxy, we're gonna be rich. Well, well, where did you come from? Hello, Ace. I've been hiding out. Naturally, after being shot at, I thought I was being hunted until I saw them posters. <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of you. Well, you know I wouldn't run out on a good partner like you, Ace. Come upstairs. I've got something for you. Got it. I can't handle that dust after what's happened to George Malden. Well, what are we going to do with it? Take it to Denver with you and cage it. All right. Ain't that Dan Barton's horse there? Sure looks like him. Well, that's what I was thinking. Go get him. We're through. We're not. You never would have gotten a hold of Malden's mind if it hadn't have been for me. Oh, so you know all about it, do you? Yeah. And you're cutting in on me regular, too. No. You've got yours. 
And I'm giving you a chance by not telling the sheriff how you got it. Queenie. Where's Ace Brady? Up in the room. You mind getting for me? Yes. If you think it's a bluff, just call me. Why you? What have you got on me? Nothing. What have I got on you? Everything. Ace, the sheriff wants to see you. Tell him I'll be right out. I wonder what the sheriff wants. I reckon he saw you come in here. Do you want me to tell him who killed? No. No. You win. I'm taking the mine. And you are taking the stage out of here? Yeah. and gave us the slip up in the canyon last night. But I just saw his horse out here. Perhaps he's in town somewhere. Well, that's what I was figuring. Well, you won't find him around my place, Sheriff. We always keep a pretty close watch. Put him up. Up with him. What are you looking for, Fox? Pen and paper? No. Yes, you are. Get it. What do I want with it? Get it. Come on. Write what I tell you. Sheriff Miles Clay. I, Fox Tyson, hereby confesses. Confess? What do you want me to confess? Just what I heard. That you killed George Marlin. Well, I didn't kill George. Yes, you did. You're the man I shot at. Now, come on. Right. Right. Or I'll send you out to Tennessee and make your peace with him. Listen, Barton, I'm your friend. Yeah? If you want to know who killed Tennessee, ask Casey. What's the trouble in there? Come on, open that door. Fox, the next time we meet, I'm gonna get that confession. Come on, shoot the lock off of it. Atta boy. What's this, please? Dan Barton. You got out through that window. All right, boys. Come on. He wants to get away. He's up there, all right. But he went out the back way. You go around the back. Look, Hank, you come with me. All right, sir. You know more than left. 
Dan Barton came up behind me and got the drop on me. And he must have been here while we were talking. He heard everything. He did. He tried to make me confess. I didn't do it. I wouldn't do that. He took my guns. Then he hit me on the back of the head. He got away. Better get going, Fox. I am. Now. Say, hey, Ace, you better kind of watch out for yourself. He sort of suspicions you. Stage driver. There's a man on there I want.
Are you hurt? Are you hurt? Miss Alice. Miss Alice. Miss Alice. Are you all right? What happened? Well, the stagecoach tipped over. Gee, miss, I'm glad you wasn't hurt. Oh, I'm all right. I'm all right now. like somebody must have got hurt. Well, there she is, fellas. What happened, miss? Why, the, the horses ran away and the stage tipped over. Well, uh, where did Barton go? Well, I don't know. Well, I reckon your trip is postponed, judging from that wreck, Ender. We'll take you back to town. Come on, bud, your horse will carry double. Put it right yeah, up Yeah, he's gentle, Sheriff. Put him up, Pop. Why, hello, Ace. I thought you were Barton. Never mind him. You know what I want. Hand it over. Why, Ace, I, I haven't anything of yours. Hand it over. Gotcha, Fox. Sorry to trouble you, gents. I got a little private business to take care of. Do you all mind waiting outside? That goes for you too, bartender. Come on. I never had a little something like that. I don't know why I can't stay in there. What are you going to do? Stay that way. Give it to me. You're very fortunate in having me at a disadvantage. Barton.
that boy. Let me get him. No, let him go. Let him. They started. Now let him go. Him up. Come on. No, Barton. I got the truth from the fox before he cashed in. I'm sorry I gave you so much trouble. All right, Brady, it's all over. Take him out, boy. Come on, get out. Excuse me, Miss Alice. For stealing that kiss. <laughs> <laughs> 